Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I have a review video for you, but it's not a review on just one thing. It is 10 things that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, the review is not good. All right, let's get into the video. These are the 10 things that I will not repurchase from the Dollar Tree. I do not give a good review to but they just didn't work for me. So if they do work for you, that's great. And definitely let me know down below if there's something that I mentioned that has worked well for you. But I'm gonna start with the first one that I was really hopeful for. I love a lemony scent, especially in the kitchen. So I purchased this. I don't have the original um, a wrapper packaging for it, but it looks like this. I've seen it recently, so they sell it still. And they also make this in lavender, and you just stick it stick it in your sink drain area, and it also catches the stuff, but lets off a lemony smell. I really wanted this to work because, like I said, I love the smell of lemon, especially in a kitchen, but it did not work for me. It just didn't let off any smell. Maybe initially, like, the first hour or something, I could smell it, but it just didn't hold any kind of a scent and I and it, on top of it, it looks pretty cheap and kind of whatever, but I thought I would be able to accept that if it gave this great lemon scent, but it doesn't. So I would call this one a pass, fail, not gonna buy again. The next Dollar Tree product that I will not be buying again that does not get a good review from me are these hooks, these self-adhesive hooks. These puppies, no, not for me, not for me. Not only did these not stay on the wall, once it fell off of the wall, it took a chunk of my wall with it. Like, I was like, no, no. So these do not work. I think that they make these in smaller sizes, maybe it would work, but then even the thing that I was hanging on it was super, super light. It just didn't stay stuck to the wall, and it was a wall that doesn't have any, um, texture on it or anything. So it should have stuck. If it was gonna stick, it should have stuck on that wall and it didn't and tore a piece of it and I still have to repaint that part. Oh! The next thing are their Q-tips. I bought their Q-tips for the longest time and th sure, they'll do in a pinch, but I have found that just spending a little tiny bit more at Walgreens, I'm not Walgreens, Walmart or Target, you get a way better Q-tip. So this is the Q-tip of a Dollar Tree one. And then, let's put side by side, I think this is a Target one. It's just, this one's the Target one. It's just a little bit more fluffy. This one really has nothing in it on it if you're using the Dollar Tree one for like touching up like makeup or things like that I think it's fine but if you're using it's like clean like areas like in your ears and stuff like I do not like the Dollar Tree ones I would much rather spend like 50 cents I think is what it is extra um, on a little bit better q-tip the next thing are these sachets sachets I don't even know how to say them I just hauled these in a haul like a few hauls ago and I was excited to find them. However, I am no longer excited to have them. It really didn't do anything. Like up close, you can still smell the smell, but I put them in very small confined places and I couldn't smell it at all. Either one of the scents. I got this one and uh, I forget the other scent it was, but I just don't think that these work that well. Um, I, I won't be repurchasing it. I didn't get any kind of, like a renews it that you can get for a dollar gives off way better of a scent than this does. The next thing I will no longer be purchasing from the Dollar Tree are unfortunately these sparkling ice lemonades. I love these, especially the lemonade and the strawberry lemonade. I use these on the regular in my adult cocktails. I like to mix these with vodka and that is my like beverage of choice, my cocktail of choice. It's low cal and it's delicious. It tastes really good. Except for when I get these from Dollar Tree, they're a dollar at Target, Walmart, Publix or I don't, those are the stores that we have here in Orlando, but they're a dollar everywhere. So getting them at Dollar Tree is not a deal. And the ones at Dollar Tree, they get built up. I wish I had one to show you, but they build up this like, almost like a, 
it's almost like a, I don't know, I feel like I want to say sediment. That's not the right word. But they build up the, at the bottom of these three, uh, at the bottom of these, like this like, like bunch of yellow stuff. And you try and shake it and it doesn't even go away. And it has a funny taste. It almost tastes like grass is mixed with it or something. I don't know why the ones from Dollar Tree taste like that and maybe the other flavors don't. But anytime I've gotten the, the lemonade like this one, um, it does that to me. So I've just stopped buying them from the Dollar Tree. I can get them the same price anywhere else. So I'm not gonna get the ones that they just, they've, it's happened over and over again that it gives that nasty taste. So I've just scratched that off my list and I will buy these elsewhere. I'm so sad to say this, but I will no longer buy any more candles from the Dollar Tree. I bought this one and the Dollar Tree for sure has some really cute candles, like the packaging, the colors, things that they say on them, but I like a candle for it to go up, give off a nice aroma. And none of the Dollar Tree ones that I have ever tried, ever, have given off any kind of a like smell people use the word throw i'm not sure if throw is the same thing as smell let me know in the comments below if you know about your candles but i hear it sounds fancy and uh i'm not sure exactly what it means but all i know is that none of the dollar tree candles that i've ever gotten have given off a nice smell and i buy candles for a smell and at walmart i can get a candle that's like the size of a bath and body works candle for 4.96 and it gives off amazing scents so i'm just not going to purchase ones from the dollar tree anymore hi, hi Lennon. <laughs> the rest of the things i have written in my phone because i don't actually have them i've used them and thrown them away um but I want to tell you and I will find a picture and insert exactly what they look like. But the next thing on my list is the Dollar Tree's hand sanitizer. I have tried this hand sanitizer over and over again. There is something about the smell of the Dollar Tree hand sanitizers that I just cannot stand. I don't like them. And I don't know if they, I feel like they only have that one brand of hand sanitizer. I'm just not a fan, even for a dollar, I will find hand sanitizer somewhere else. I am not a fan of the Dollar Tree hand sanitizer. I don't know if it works or not, but the smell, no thank you. The next thing are the Dollar Tree paper towels. Oh my God, they're so bad. They're so bad. I got some, we were in a pinch, and I was already at Dollar Tree, and my husband said, can you bring home some paper towels? I didn't feel like stopping somewhere else, so I got like a couple rolls of paper towels. <sighs> we used them, but they were awful. They're so thin, they rip horribly. That is something, spend a little bit extra money and get a little bit better paper towels, because those were just, I mean, they'll do. If you have nothing else and that's all you can spend, they'll work, but you can get spend a little bit more and get ones that work way better and they're way less annoying. So no more Dollar Tree paper towels for me. Along the same lines of the paper towels, I will also throw in the Dollar Tree toilet paper. Same time that we were out of paper towels, we were also out of toilet paper, and so I grabbed both of them and, oh, that toilet paper is so bad. Like. I feel as I've gotten older, I am kind of picky with my toilet paper. I'm like, I want it just a nice, soft, like something that's not gonna feel super flimsy and just a nice, soft toilet paper. And that is not what the Dollar Tree toilet paper is. It is flimsy. My daughter was using the bathroom and she called me. She's like, mom, will you come here for a second? And I went there, she's like, goes, she goes, where's this toilet paper from? And I was like, why? She goes, because it's not good. And I was like, from the Dollar Tree and she's like oh man Dollar Tree I'm like I know Dollar Tree is still great but not for toilet paper so that is definitely something I will no longer be buying my favorite is the Charmin ultra soft toilet paper that is like my go-to toilet paper and that toilet the Dollar Tree one is not even close to the same as the Charmin one at all what is your favorite toilet paper? Are you specific with your toilet paper? Are you picky with it? Do you not really care? Do you use Dollar Tree toilet paper? Let me know down below because this is just something that I've gotten like, sh not strict on, but like I really care about in the past few years. I think before I was like, I don't care, it's toilet paper. But now I care, I care. Hashtag adulting, hashtag mom, wife life.
My last thing that I will no longer be purchasing from the Dollar Tree that I've tried, has not worked out for me, is their whiteout. Their whiteout sucked for me. I've bought it a couple times. It's super runny. It barely covers anything. I've thrown it out. I looked forward to see. I had tried to save it and then I don't know, it got thrown away. So it might work for you, but I say spend a little bit extra money and get the big kind. That one always works great for me, but Dang white out. That did not work at all for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different of a video, kind of going along with my reviews, but also Dollar Tree. And just instead of doing one review of certain Dollar Tree products, I figure I would group some together. So let me know down below if you guys like these kinds of videos. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And that's it for today. So I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.